All right, hello there. Uh, we had some difficulties recording. We started off with a Shrine of Loyal region, Legions, followed that up with a Blinding Soul Eater, uh, Sturcher Priest, Parasitic Implant, Glissoscorn, and then a Maul Splicer. Uh, the Parasitic Implant was sort of a pick that was made awkwardly because I was talking to somebody else. But now we're back on track to try and figure out what we're doing with this draft. So... <clears throat> We still don't really know what's going on. Uh, we could take the Viridian Betrayers and stay with green, but I kind of just want to take this Deceiver Exarch and see if we can go blue. And then we've got a Vault Scourge, which just should go in any of our decks. The Shrine's okay, but it's really expensive and really slow, so you have to hope that they didn't empty out their hand by, like, turn 5 to really get any value out of it. Although you can draw step it, which means that it should always do something. The Cataxian Probe is... I don't really like cards that just cycle, uh, unless we're struggling for playables. And even then, I'd rather do something other than let us look at our hand, their hand, so we can have maybe some value out of it. Uh, we'll follow it up with a second Vault Scourge. And... I think we want to go with the Vapor Snag here. The Numbing Dose is really slow. So, I think that's probably better. We're still not sure what colors we are. I don't think we ever need a second Maul Splicer. But at the same time, I don't know if there's anything else in this pack that we really want more. I mean, if you need a finisher, Maul Splicer certainly gets the job done. Um, I think I'm actually just going to take this Ruthless Invasion, because I really don't think we're going to need a second Maul Splicer. And I'd rather have this Defensive Stance. And here we go, we got a Numbing Dose. Uh, sure, for signaling purposes. So, right now, I don't think we're going to play that. Don't want to play that one main. And we could... So in theory, we could go any of these colors, or we could uh, try and splash. Although I think I should have picked up the Mycosynth Wallspring instead of this Parasitic Implant, specifically because of this. But like I said, it was sort of a panic pick. It, uh, it might be awkward and come back to bite me in the end, but we'll see what happens. So we've got Blue Sun Zenith... We've got Blight Widow, or we've got Lean and Sky Hunter, but I didn't really see enough aggressive white creatures. Although, I mean, if you look at this, we've got Double Vault Scourge, Sturcher Priest, Shrine of Loyal Legions, Deceiver Exarch, Blinding Soul Eater. So the Sky Hunter is a reasonable pick. Hmm. Because I don't. Hmm. Blight Widow is very powerful, for sure. I think I'd rather just try and have the aggressive white deck. Although we only saw one Sturcher Priest, which is somewhat awkward. But I think I want to try and go white blue flyers. And look, we get this second pick Corrupted Conscience to reward us for that. So we could still... Ooh... Wow, this is a good pack. So we've got Divine Offering as a removal option. We've got Piston Sledge to keep up the aggression in White Sun Zenith. And Serum Raker. So I guess... Do we think any of these are going to table? And I think the answer is no. So we've got... Because that could be picked up by the Infect deck. So that's one. That will be picked up by another White Drafter. Two, three, four. I'd say Spin Engine is five. Crush is 6, Priest and Orn 7, Mirsire 8. We might get a signal pass back. Or we might get Mirsire signal pass back. So now the question is, what do we want more of? I think we can count on getting more of these guys. Like, I th think there's enough between Steel Sabotage and we can... Sp and, uh... I guess it's just Steel Sabotage and I guess Revoke Existences. We can probably get some more of these. So I'm going to take pick up the Piston Sledge right now. In an effort to aggro them out. What have we got here? So the choices here, I think, are between Gore Vassal and Flare Husk and Rusted Slasher. So I don't think we want to play this numbing dose. Oops, that was that was wrong. Uh, we could still potentially splash that Glissa Scorn. Definitely don't want War Report, Ruthless Invasion, or Parasitic Implant, or Numbing Dose, or Mall Splicer. So, um. I think Flare Husk will be the best for us right now. 
But it's, hmm. No, probably not. I feel like we've got the piston sledge. I think I'm just going to pick up this flare house because it goes well with all of our flyers. Alright, and now I think we want this Icar Wellspring because we've got the piston sledge to go with it and we might pick up another thing. Like Psychosis Crawler is big. These two cards are okay, but I feel like the Accorda Paladin just dies to everything. This Virulent Wound is good, but we obviously can't take it. Hmm. Now we've got the choice between Divine Offering and Relic Order. The Gust Skimmer is good, but I think it doesn't beat out a removal spell in this slot. I'm this is probably wrong but I think I want to go with the relic order because my plan is to just beat them down and so a creature that's a removal spell is better than just a removal spell so I'm going to go with the relic order and we're rewarded with this very light lean and sky hunter uh, none of these cards are very good We've got two equipment, so if we, I'm going to take this training drone. We might pick up more equipment later. Wow. Uh, I mean, I'm not playing Frantic Salvage. I guess I could take Tangle Mantis in case we want to go back. Or I could just take this Ogre Resistor in case we get some red cards. Uh, Koldotha Ringleader or Training Drone. Why not? Let's just go with this Training Drone. Pick up this Spin Engine in case we go red. Alright, triple training drone. We're going to take equipment very highly. I don't think we're going to play this close to scorn. So we've got two right now. Yeah, we have two equipment right now. So I think if we pick up two more, we can easily support these three training drones. Yeah, why not? Alright, so this deck is not very good. We've got definitely a good card in it, though. We've got a few good cards. And it's entirely possible that we just beat them down with our uh, Sky Hunter and two Piston Sludge. The Training Drone Piston Sludge curve is pretty sick, too. And we opened a Worm Coil Engine. So we're basically slamming that. Uh, we've got to remember we're passing an arrest, but we've got Bay for Snag and Relic Order to deal with them. Yep. <coughs> Sometimes you run good. But um, it's also still not entirely clear that we're going to be playing uh, blue. So right now we've got between Volstrike Replica and Tumble Magnet. Uh, man, oh, I guess Sunspear Shikara. If there aren't any equipment, otherwise I would snap take that. Um, I think we just want Tumble Magnet here. I mean, let's think. One, two... One, two, three. So I don't think we might table an edge right if we're lucky. We could table one of these, but that's not a given. Ooh, Painsmith. You slay me. But uh, we're just going to take this Revoke Existence and be satisfied with another removal option. Yep, no equipment. So at this point, we're probably going to be able to... Ooh... So we've got Trinket Mage to go fetch up our Flare Husk or a Quarter Shield. I think if we take Trinket Mage, we can pick up an a Quarter Shield later. Like, Trigon of Corruption is good, but pretty slow. I'm just going to take this Trinket Mage. So now we effectively have three equipment. So I think if we pick up another one drop or zero drop equipment, we're definitely playing these training drones. And that gives us one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I mean, instead... Okay, so at this point, we're not playing red. I think we just go with this Origin Spell Bomb, which gives our Trinket Mage even more value. And... This is really awkward. I guess we go with the Ceratark. But we really need to get another equipment in the next two packs. Uh, I guess we go with Memnite. And we don't get an equipment. I'm going to go Soul Pair here as a sideboard option. 
Ooh, Halt Order. That was a pretty good one to get back. So if we can table out a Quarter Shield, that would be sick, but I seriously doubt that that's going to happen. <laughs> 